at a very popular and important topic, herpes simplex virus. Before we jump into its details, let's briefly discuss its family background. The herpes virus belongs to the herpes viridae family and is broadly subdivided into alpha, beta and gamma. HHV stands for human herpes virus. Alpha subdivision contains HHV1, 2 and 3 which are commonly known as herpes simplex virus 1, herpes simplex virus 2 and varicella zoster virus respectively. Now the beta subdivision contains HHV5, 6 and 7. Remember HHV4 has been skipped. Of these, HHV5 is commonly known as cytomegalovirus. In the gamma subdivision, we have HHV4 and 8, which are commonly known as Epstein-Barr virus and Kaposi's sarcoma-associated virus, respectively. Let us look at the morphology of this famous virus. It is large in size and is made up of double-stranded DNA, enclosed in an icosahedral capsule. This capsule is contained in a layer called tegument, which is inside a lipid envelope. This envelope has surface glycoproteins that help in its spread. Remember, herpes virus cannot be picked up from inanimate objects. It spreads only through its host, humans. Let's go back to HSV1 and 2. HSV stands for herpes simplex virus. We know that they only affect humans. HSV1 and 2 have a preference for different parts of our bodies. HSV1 causes infection above the waist, while HSV2 causes infection below the waist. The virus reservoir in our bodies is usually in the mucosa and in the ganglia. Herpes infection spreads through close personal contact and sexual activities and is very easily transmitted. After contact with an infectious individual, the virus enters our mucosal epithelial cells. Here, it causes the formation of fluid-filled vesicles, which eventually burst to form ulcers. Remember, herpes has been described as a gift that keeps on giving, which means that the infection is extremely hard to get rid of. Even after the ulcers heal, the virus is still very much present in our bodies. It sneakily travels to the nearest ganglia, where it remains in hiding until it gets a chance to cause 